Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to power x plus 9 to power x plus 9 to power x, this is equal to 40. Now, what is the value of x? Solution from here, 9 to power x is common here, we can factor out 9 to power x, so that 9 to power x divided by 9 to power x, this is 1, plus 1, plus 1, so this is equal to 40. So here we have 9 to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, this is 3, and this is equal to 40. So that now, let's divide both signs by 3. So that now, we have 9 to power x, this is equal to 40 over 3. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both signs. So that now here it's rock 9 to power x. This is equal to rock 40 over 3. So rock 9 to power x, this is in the form of rock 8 to power n, which we can express as n rock rock a. So applying this power root property, applying this power root property, rock 9 to power x becomes x rock 9 this is equal to rock 40 over 3 so let's divide both signs here by rock 9 rock 9 so let's simplify here so that x is equal to this is rock 40 over 3 divided by rock 9 So the next step here, we have that log 40 over 3. This is in the form of log A divided by B, which we can express as log A subtract log B. So applying this logarithm property, then here we'll have x equal to log 40 over log 9 subtract rog 3 divided by rog 9. So we can express 40 as 8 times 5. And we can express 9 as 3 to power 2. So this implies that x is equal to rog. This is 8 times 5 divided by rog 9, which is rog 3 to power 2 subtract rock 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2 so rock 8 times 5 this is in the form of rock a multiplied by b which we can express as rock a plus rock b so applying this property then here we have that x is equal to rock 8 divided by rock 3 to power 2 plus rock 5 divided by rock 3 to power 2. Then we have subtract rock 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2. So let's proceed from here. Now we can express. Now from here we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So let's substitute this. We have x is equal to rock. 2 to power 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2 plus rock 5 divided by rock 3 to power 2 subtract rock 3 divided by rock 3 to power 2. So now applying the power root property here, we'll have that x is equal to rock 2 to power 3 becomes 3 rock 2 divided by rock 3 to power 2, which you can express as 2, rock 3, then plus rock 5, divided by rock 3 to power 2, which is 2, rock 3, subtract rock 3, divided by rock 3 to power 2, which is 2, rock 3. So now we simplify here, rock 3 and rock 3, so that now x is equal to 3 over 2, rock 2 divided by rock 3 
plus half rock 5 divided by rock 3 then subtract half so rock 2 divided by rock 3 and rock 5 divided by rock 3 this is in the form of rock a divided by rock b which we can express as rock a to base b now applying this logarithm property then now the value of x here is equal to 3 over 2 rog 2 to base 3 plus half rog 5 to base 3 then subtract half now this is the value of x this is the value of x and now let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation now if you recall here if you recall we end that 9 to power x plus 9 to power x plus 9 to power x this should give us a value of 40 but since here 9 to power x is common here we factor out 9 to power x so here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 this is equal to 40 so here we have 9 to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 this is 3 and this is equal to 40 so dividing by 3 here we divide by 3 so that now we have that 9 to power x this is equal to 40 over 3 now from here we can substitute the value of x so that we have 9 to power x is 3 over 2 that is rock 2 to base 3 then plus half rock 5 to base 3 subtract half now this is supposed to give us a value of 40 over 3 the next step from here we can express 9 as 3 to power 2 so let's substitute this here now we can express 9 as 3 to power 2 so let's substitute this so this is 3 to power 2 multiplied by we have 3 over 2 rog 2 to base 3 then plus half rog 5 to base 3 subtract half now this is supposed to give us a value of 40 over 3 so let's check if this is true the next step is to simplify here by 2 by 2 here so this is 3 to power 3 that is rog this is rog 2 to base 3 then plus again here we have 2 and 2 simplifies so plus rog 5 to base 3 then subtract here we have 2 and 2 simplifies so subtract 1 this is supposed to give us a value of 40 divided by 3 the next step the next step here 3 is a power here so we can express this as 3 to power rog 2 to power 3 to base 3 so this is a power now that's why we express this as log 2 this is 2 to power 3 then plus rog 5 to base 3 subtract 1 this should give us a value of 40 over 3 now 3 to power rog 2 to power 3 to base 3 plus rog 5 to base 3 subtract 1 this is in the form of a to power n subtract m which we can express as a to power n divided by a to power m so now applying this property this is the same thing as 3 to power rog 2 to power 3 to base 3 multiplying by 3 to power rog 5 to base 3 divided by 3 to power 1 they should give us a value of 40 divided by 3 so the next step from here, you find that 3 to power rock 2 to power 3 to base 3 and 3 to power rock 5 to base 3. This is in the form of m to power rock a to base m and this is actually supposed to give us a value of a. So 3 to power rock 2 to power 3 to base 3, this is the same thing as 2 to power 3 and 2 to power 3, this is the same thing as 8. Now 3 to power rock 
5 to base 3, this will give us a value of 5. So let's substitute this here. So we have 3 to power 2 to power 3 to base 3. This is 8 times 5 divided by this 3. This should give us a value of 40 over 3. So 8 times 5, this is 40. So it's 40 over 3. And this is equal to 40 over 3. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, this implies that the value of x satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.